You know, one last thing I wanted to talk about is, uh, well, we don't like to look stupid. It's just a, a human nature thing, which is weird for comedians when we come up because we are only going to look stupid. That's you know, our only real option is to try to not look stupid, but we have to because that's how we get laughs with stupidity. But um, as a parent, that's hard. It's hard to ever look stupid as a, as a parent because you got the kid. The kid needs to idolize you for as long as you can hold on to that moment. And any kind of time you look stupid in front of a, a child, and you, you've ruined something. You've lost that moment. You'll never get back. And uh, I, had, I had a moment like that early on in my, my parenting days. And uh, really just, uh, I, I, I didn't come out of it real well. Let me tell you what happened. My, my son at the time, he was seven. And seven is such an amazing age, because at seven you're reading everything, right? You're reading everything. They're yelling, pointing out billboards as you drive by. It drives you crazy, but you're so excited, they're all reading everything. Right, they, they want to know everything. So they're questioning everything, right? And they want to be good. That's the perfect age. Reading, learning, wanting to be good, great. So my son, we're at this train station, and the train pulls away. On the other side is the sign that says, it's great to be a virgin. As a parent, I knew I was dead in the water right there. Because my son is reading everything, questioning everything, wants to be good or great, as this sign is proclaiming. And this is not what I needed right now. This is, I was not ready for this. Not what you just said, but I was not quite ready. This is my first child. I didn't know what to do. And I was just hoping that it wasn't going to happen. That question wasn't going to come. But then the, the little pull on the hand came. And I knew right then, uh, here it comes. And my son goes, uh, Dad, what, what, what's a virgin? And I'm like, oh, crap. I can't look stupid. I've got to be able to answer this. I've got to come up with this. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? And so I'm thinking, and I go, uh, oh, hey, well, you know, uh, what that sign uh, is uh, alluding to, um, son, is um, what it's trying to put forth to people is that uh, I, I believe um, that, son, you, you know, that, that sign, really what I'm trying to do is see if there's an ice cream shop anywhere by as I'm fumbling, but there's nothing. So to go, uh, well, uh, it's saying that there are things that you uh, should do after you get married uh, that you don't do before you're married. And uh, that's what the sign is pretty much saying. I'm thinking, man, look brilliant. Man, nice one. You are out of there. Let's get going before any more questions. But he wouldn't let it go. Wouldn't let it go. He goes, well, stuff like what? I'm like, uh, stop, son, stop. Wouldn't let it go. He asked again. Like, what? And I went, um, um, I'm thinking. I'll send my son. He goes, uh, like buy a house? And I think, yes. Yes, son, like buy a house. <laughs> Exactly! You are such a smart boy! You are a smart boy! Yeah, because, you know, when your mom and I, when we were dating, I mean, we wanted to buy a house. <laughs> I mean, we really wanted to buy a house. I mean, we looked at houses, we drove by houses, walked in a few houses, didn't buy it, but, uh, but we never bought the house. Because we knew we wanted to be good, so we waited. We got married, and then suddenly we bought a house. And I've got to tell you, that was a great house. <laughs> I love that house. I mean, that house meant everything to me. I mean, I know I could just leave the house and come back just to go, hey, I'm home again. I would, I'd be at work because I got to go home because I love my house. And I would be there, and that house, oh, so I'm telling you, that's the reason you waited to buy the house because it was after your marriage. It was a great house. It was all perfect and good. And uh, I gotta tell you, though, son, I, I'm now feeling like I'm bonding with my son here. This is going well. And one son, a um, little father, son, advice, though. I need to talk to you and just kind of let you know that, uh, you know, as great as that house is, I, I, I want you to know at times, there are gonna be times when you're gonna come home and the house, the house is gonna be locked. <laughs> Nothing personal, son, but stay out of the house. The house doesn't want you home right now. Doesn't matter if you ring the doorbell nicely, it really doesn't. The house is shut. Don't try to sneak around back, just stay away from the house. It'll only make it worse. Just just go, okay, house. Not coming in. 
little father son advice. And, but I'm on the, I think I'm on this roll, and I'm just talking. I'm still, I'm just blabbering. I'm talking so much, and I go, oh, but son, you know, another thing I want you to, I want to warn you about right now, because son, I want you to take this seriously. I want you to never forget this about your house, because there's going to become a time, and you won't even know when it'll hit, a time when suddenly, out of nowhere, you are going to look up, and you won't even know how it happened. And all of a sudden, you're going to look up and go, ooh. Neighbor's got a nice house. <laughs> but stay away from that house, son. I want you to stay away from that house. I don't care. I don't care if there are some big bay windows thrust in your face. I don't care if that house has a back porch you can sleep on. You stay away from that house. That is not your house. You wait until you were married to get this house, and you stay in that house, and you treat it nicely. And if it needs a coat of paint, if it, if it needs its boards tightened a little bit, you do whatever that house needs. And you love that house. You stay in that house forever, son. You got me? You got me? Because, son, you love that house. And that, son, that is why it's great to be a virgin. <laughs> got across to him or not. I mean, I just confused him. <laughs> Messed me up, too. I get excited every time a parade of homes comes by. <laughs>